In today's video, I'm gonna give you my long-term review of the Surface Pro 9 5G that I've been using as a daily driver for the past year now. When I first got the Surface Pro 9 5G, I thought I was gonna test it out for a couple of weeks and then go back to my regular Surface Pro 8 4G with an Intel processor inside of it. My whole thought behind it was I'm gonna use this device until I run into too many issues with Windows on ARM that I'm forced to go back to my Pro 8 with an Intel processor. Uh, and then I realized that it's been a whole year now and this device has been pretty much rock solid minus one issue the first couple of weeks that I did have it. Uh, and that is a great testament to how far Windows on ARM has come since the Surface Pro X being released three years ago. I just wanna quickly, for those of you that don't know, uh, help you understand what the difference is between a Surface Pro 9 5G and a regular Surface Pro 9. The regular Surface Pro 9 uses an Intel processor with an x86 architecture, and that has been the standard for a couple of decades now. The Surface Pro 9 5G uses an ARM-based processor, which is something you'd find more so in tablets and phones, but they're now starting to make their way onto desktops. If you want a great example of ARM processors being used and the potential of them, you have to look no further than the Apple Silicon MacBooks that have been released since 2021. One of the biggest issues I thought I would run into with the Surface Pro 9 5G was app compatibility and knowing that apps were running in emulation, but I can tell you just anecdotally, I haven't noticed any issues at all with app compatibility uh, compared to when I used the Surface Pro X a couple of years ago. The main issue I did have with the Surface Pro 9 5G, which has actually been fixed, was an issue with the webcam turning off when it was being worked too hard. One of the benefits of the ARM processor is that it has an NPU or a neural processing unit, which is a fancy word for saying part of the chip on there is dedicated to AI effects like background blurring and vo voice focus and voice clarity, all this sort of cool stuff when it does work. But when I got this device out of the box, basically on the week that it was released, it wasn't fully, fully, uh, I guess, fixed uh, in the fact that it worked, but if I used it for too, too long, the webcam would break. And when you're on video calls for most of the day, having a working webcam is critically important. Uh, but I can let you know, Microsoft has fixed this for the most part. Um, so that was the main issue that if I was gonna say there's a fault with this device, I would have complained that the webcam wasn't stable, but now it's actually one of the standout features of this computer. In terms of the body of the Surface Pro 9 5G versus the regular Surface Pro, you actually couldn't tell these two devices apart, minus one marker on the Surface Pro 9, which is, as you run around the body of the Pro 9 5G, you can see little antenna marks around the body, and that is for the cellular connectivity. Other than that, the devices look identical, and I think that's kind of cool, because I love the design of the Surface Pro. When it comes to standout features of the Surface Pro 9, and I guess what made me keep using it for the past year, a lot of these actually boil down to the fact that it was running an ARM processor, which has a lot of advantages over the traditional Intel processor. Uh, and the first one has to be the fact that it is cool and it is quiet. Intel and x86 processors are known to get quite hot and their fans are known to kick off under regular workload. The Surface Pro 9 5G with its newer kind of architecture actually doesn't have a fan inside of here, so it is always quiet. Uh, and the fact that it is a newer sort of processor or architecture means that it runs a lot cooler as well. I can touch the back of it when I'm doing things like running my webcam and using it all day, and it does get a little bit warm as any device would, but it's never super hot. Uh, so the fact that it's super quiet and it just always stays relatively cool is a big tick in, in my books. And then of course, being based on that mobile architecture, you get way better battery life. This device is rated for 18 hours of battery life. I'm not sure if I've hit the 18 hour mark before, but I can tell you for the past year, I haven't had to worry about battery life on it. It gets me through a whole day without any issues. When I say a whole day, I reckon that ranges between eight to 12 hours depending on what I'm doing on the computer. But the takeaway is I can use this device consistently on battery and know a whole workday is gonna go by and I won't have to worry about where the charger is or if it has enough juice to get me through the day. Uh, so the fact that it is way more optimized for battery life, again, means that I can travel around with it and I don't have to worry about being tethered to a power brick or carry a power bank with me. So battery life on this thing is again, another massive upgrade. And that's really thanks to that um, architecture on that new processor. 
One of the biggest concerns I think a lot of you would have when it comes to the Surface Pro 9 5G is performance of Windows, performance of applications, and just usability overall. And that was my biggest concern as well. But I can let you know for everything I've done for the past year, I haven't noticed any performance issues at all with it. Mine is running the SQ3 processor with 16 gigs of RAM. Maybe if I had the 8 gig variant, I'd notice a little bit more struggles, but I don't have that device to test it out. But I can let you know this one here has been flawless. Using majority of the Office Suite and online uh, web browsers for my workflow, I can tell you, I cannot tell whether these apps are running natively, whether they're running in emulation, whatever it is, I can tell you they just work. And to me, that really is the main thing. For most people out there, you don't care how your app is running, you just want it to work for you. And I can tell you the Surface Pro 9 5G hasn't skipped a beat. That's not to say there are not apps out there that will struggle on this device, but what I found is that a lot of those applications, they actually do run, but the issue is more so driver support. Um, my day-to-day -day workflow really doesn't need any of those custom applications or those really niche apps. So everything I do on it just works really well. But I think it, where you're gonna find this device may struggle is when you run things that need to run graphics. And when I say that, things that need to access the graphics card. You can pull up a few different programs like Adobe, DaVinci Resolve, or basically anything that needs to understand what sort of GPU this uh, device has. And when they can't understand the GPU because there's no drivers for it, those programs seem to struggle and seem to fail. Um, so that's more of a compatibility issue with the, the drivers. But like I said, I've used it for the past year and I don't do video editing on this device. So it's been rock solid for me for general workflow. The fact that this device also has 5G means that I can travel around. I know the battery life is gonna last me all day, but it also means that when I'm not near a Wi-Fi hotspot, um, I can actually just, don't have to worry about that. My 5G network is gonna connect up and I'm gonna get awesome speeds. Let's actually do a quick speed test now, just to sort of show you the speeds that we're getting. I'm on uh, cellular as we do this. Is it connected to four or 5G? I'm not sure, but let's have a look. Yeah, it's running Optus 5G. And you can see I'm getting around 500 megs down uh, and uploads is gonna be more than enough for my day-to-day -day workflow. So for me, that is just, it's awesome. I don't need to worry about tethering to my phone or tethering to a hotspot uh, or finding Wi-Fi. I can just move around, have all day battery life, my program's gonna work and I can work from anywhere just because of this device right here. And then finally, one of the biggest benefits of the Surface Pro 9 5G has to be the AI features inside of this. The Surface Pro 9 5G has an NPU or a neural processing unit. And really what that does is take a lot of the AI audio and video effects off the processor workload and it puts it onto the NPU. And this has a couple of benefits. The first one being that when you're running a Teams call or a video call, when you're using audio and video effects, having the workload taken off the processor onto the MPU actually saves the processor a lot of processing power, which means it doesn't run as hot and it doesn't use as much battery life. So there's your tip number one. The second thing is that when all the uh, AI effects are being done on the specific NPU and not just the general processor, you get a lot better results. I've been on video calls where people say, hey, that is an amazing camera, what are you using? And I tell them it's just a Surface Pro 9 5G with the studio effects turned on. And of course, when you're using your laptop quite a bit for video calls, having a great camera and having a great audio microphone that focuses on your voice really just enhances the quality of the call for everybody. When it comes to the limitations of the Surface Pro 9, the only thing I would say is that I think maybe 95, 98% of applications that most people run on the day to day, they're gonna work on this and you're not gonna actually notice a difference between this and the Intel variant. I was expecting a much bigger difference between this and my old Surface Pro 8, um, but really jumping from the 8 to the 9 5G, it has been a really big improvement and I've had no app compatibility issues. But that's because I'm not using some really, I guess, custom or bespoke software on here, um, or, or even just, I guess, more niche. For my general workflow, which is, you'd call it an office work, um, I don't need any programs that require dedicated graphics cards or things like that. So if you do general work, which is your office suite and your web browsing and a few other, I guess, programs, um, the Pro 9 5G should actually be fine for you. 
But if you need a custom or a specific piece of software, I'd recommend checking it out and seeing if it will run on the Surface Pro 9 5G, just because I know that there are a few programs out there that there are still some driver support issues when it comes to running on this device. So for most people out there, I would say the Surface Pro 9 5G is an amazing computer and it's gonna work for you. Um, but if you do have a specific program that you need for your workflow or for your study, I'd actually go and see if it would work on the Surface Pro 9 5G before you go ahead and make that purchase. And when I say test it out and see if it would work, unfortunately there's no website that you can go and actually see, will this work on my Pro 9 5G or not? Uh, but I'd go into a retail store and ask them to uh, see if they can boot it up and have the program load on there. So if you know you need a specific application that may not run on the Pro 9 5G, I'd actually go in ahead and just buy a regular Surface Pro 9 because you know that old Intel architecture, it's a industry standard and everything's gonna work. So would I recommend the Surface Pro 9 5G? For the majority of people out there that do office work and students, this would be an amazing device because it runs cool, it runs quiet, you have great battery life, you have your 5G connectivity, so you can work wherever and whenever you want. Uh, and for most people, it's gonna be an amazing, amazing machine. If you use more specific software though that requires things like graphics drivers like Adobe, DaVinci Resolve, um, 3D modeling programs, the Pro 9 5G may actually fall short for you because of that driver support, and that's where the regular Surface Pro 9 would probably be your better, safer bet. But for most people out there, I would definitely recommend the Surface Pro 9 5G. I myself was a bit skeptical when I got it a year ago, then I realized that a year has gone by and this device has been rock solid and I actually loved using it. Uh, and there's so many reasons that it is actually such an improvement over the old Surface Pro 8 um, that I think Really, I'm more than happy with this device and I didn't expect to love it as much as I did. And there you have it. That is my one year review of the Surface Pro 9 5G. Let me know your thoughts about this device in the comment section down below. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And if you're in a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.